pin trading bonanza. You see that in the shot? Pin trading Lou. <laughs> Howdy friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Luke, and today we got a pin trading loop, so stay tuned for more. All right, so as mentioned, today we have something a little different. I was invited to a pin trading loop hosted by Mary and Tony over at the Siskateers. I'll leave their information in the description. So to kind of explain what that is, it's basically Mary and Tony organized a little group, put together like a pin trader book with just a bunch of traders, and then we kind of send it around. You can trade some pins out of it, and then you can send it off. I received mine today, so I'm gonna open it up, see what there is to trade. I have my traders right here, ready to go. I have my traders here ready to go, so I'm gonna open it up, open the box, and see what we got. Also, I forgot to mention, there's I think like eight-ish channels, let me count, hold on. There are nine, nine other channels involved in this, and I got mine sent to me by Pauline from Mouse and Mermaid. Link her stuff down below. I'll link everyone's stuff down below. It's really fun because everyone's video comes up at a different time, so you can kind of like follow it along. It started back in, I wanna say January, if I'm not mistaken, January, February, something like that. It's been really exciting following along with all the other videos, so I'm really excited to jump right in. Hey, Dios mio. That's dangerous. Always cut away from yourself. Always away. Always away. All right, so first, this is what we got so far. Some some wrapping paper. Not wrapping paper, but um, bubble wrap. We got a little card here with a little Mickey Mouse pin. And on the back it says, thanks for being a part of this fun loop. Happy trading with Pixie Dust Pauline. This pin is for you just for fun. Oh, thank you so much, Pauline. A little Mickey Mouse, kind of like Mickey Mouse Club pin. How fun. And then we have the pin folio. Wow, this feels thick. With three C's. A little Disneyland sticker here. And a little, little, little mousey guy. Cute. So now we have the pin folio. So I'm gonna open it up and see what there is inside. Oh wow, very protective. Oh. Oh, so this is the limited edition one. I get it now, okay. So this one here is the limited edition, and then here are all the open edition pins. If you wanna see what they all are, hit pause and take a look, but that way the, the next people don't see all the pins, because then it kind of ruins some of the, the fun, right? At first glance, there are some that I see that I like here from this open edition section. The first one I see that I really like is is this Marie here. This is like the little Bigfoot series, and for a while I was after this one, but they were just like really hard to find. Marie specifically was kind of hard to find. To be honest, I since forgot about the set, but when I saw this, it reminded me that maybe I have to try and trade for it. So I'm gonna trade this one here. I'm gonna take that one, which will give me an up close in a sec. And I'm gonna put in another hidden Mickey pin myself, and it's gonna be this little three pig, three little pigs here, which I opened up like in two videos ago or something, so I'll link that one above. But yeah, let me put that aside. So the first one I grabbed was this little Marie here. So she is so cute. This is part of the Little Bigfoot series. And for a long time I wanted to collect this series, but I just kind of forgot about it to be honest. Um, it's a Hidden Mickey series. This one specifically is one of five. They're meant to be like the cute little plushes that you can see at like World of Disney or any of the Disney retail or probably on Shop Disney. Rip Disney store. <laughs> I don't remember who else is in the collection, but it is a really cute one. So I'm really excited to have this one in. There's another one I see that I am interested in here. This one here, it's like a pane of glass or like a window. <laughs> it's like a window, you can see through the window and then there's people behind. This is also a Hidden Mickey. It's a part of Disneyland. So I figure I love Hidden Mickeys as some of you know, and I love Disneyland as some of you know. <laughs> so this would be a perfect match. This can be a little addition to my Disneyland board. I have a specific Disneyland board, so how fun. And for that one, I'm gonna put in another hidden Mickey. This is like the little Bolt doghouse from Disneyland. So figure swap that one right in. So next we're gonna dive into the LEs. So I should mention, I forgot to mention this earlier. You can, there, you can trade up to five open edition, which I thought it was three, I just double checked. Maybe I'll trade one more actually. Nah, it's fine, it's fine. You can trade up to five open edition pins, and then you can trade up to two LE or LR. So basically, LE for LE or LR for LR, in essence. Yeah, so I'm gonna open up the LE or LR ones now. 
Oh, this is on like a felt. Are these pin backed on or what's going on here? Okay, I'm just gonna hold it up. So these are the LEs and the LRs basically. So this one's like graduation, key to dream big. We got like Pinocchio, we got like a Donald, a couple down here. I'm gonna take a look and see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a BB-8. It's a limited release. It's a hefty pin. I don't know if I have it. Let me check and see if I have an LR. Aha! I do have a limited release. This is a limited release uh, Toy Story 10th anniversary. So I'm gonna put this one in. I'm gonna trade it for the BB-8. So this BB-8, he's, it's just kind of like an all metal pin. It's quite thick, so it's got some nice heft. And as I mentioned, this is a limited release as well. So really nice pin. And there's another one that I, I like is, oh, <laughs> this Pinocchio here. So he's kind of jumping off the page, so I'll pull him off. He was part of a set that released last year. He's a limited edition of 4,000. I saw this one over at Disneyland. They had some at Disneyland. I didn't pick it up, but I have one to trade. I have a limited edition to trade, so I figured I'll grab this one now. The one I'll be putting in is this Pocahontas spinner here. So that's kind of a unique characteristic. This was for the 25th anniversary and it's a limited edition of 3,500. So right about the same as the edition size. So that's a pretty even trade, I'd say. I mean, I haven't had this one for a while and I decided I just, I downsized a little bit. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to pass it along to somebody who would really like it. Pocahontas pins are not super common either. So they may be somebody in the group's Pocahontas trader. Well, how fun was that? Little, little random, not random, but like blind pin trading. I guess pin trading in general is blind. So maybe it's not really blind. <laughs> I will take this opportunity to update my traders just to show everyone if there's if there's anyone out there who wants to trade with the rest with any of these other ones, you just let me know. If anything in there strikes your fancy, reach out, maybe we can work something out. Yeah, how fun was that? Thank you so much, Mary and Tony from the Sisketeers for including me on this pin loop trade, pin trade loop. <laughs> this is my first, so this is so exciting and so fun in such a unique and different way to pin trade. I'm gonna send this over to Mel from Geeking Out with Melly Mel so I'm excited to see what she trades when she gets it. What was your favorite pin in the trader book? If it was it one of the ones I grabbed or was it something else? Let me know in the comments down below. If you liked what you saw today, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe with the notifications on so you stay in the loop when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon.